Hi guys, I'm back with another video. This time I'll be reviewing uh, oven controlled crystal oscillator, uh, basically external clock uh, for audio devices and radio devices and radio astronomy devices that I got from AliExpress for something like $60 uh, to use it uh, with my uh, Gastart uh, digital to analog converter because uh, Gastart um, R26 uh, is able to use uh, external 10 MHz clock source. So this is something that came about a month ago. Uh, it has very nice covers from uh, clock outputs. This output is for sine wave uh, with 10 MHz frequency and this one is for uh, square wave uh, for one peak uh, per, I don't know, one millionth of a second. Uh, we have two uh, diodes signaling the power and the problem with uh, clocking, the error with uh, connection to the GPS. Uh, also, the power shows us uh, if we have a stable GPS connection or are there any problems. On the back side, we have a GPS antenna, information about the type of the unit, a serial interface, uh, I don't know if it's meant for controlling uh, the unit or if it outputs the signal uh, in a serial RS232 format, which is basically a very old format, I don't remember. Do you remember the mice or joysticks in early PC or Amiga and Commodore era? That was RS232. And it's using uh, DC input uh, in range between 11 and uh, 15 uh, volts. I was using it with uh, 12 volts super power supply, <coughs> a linear power supply. The power supply that's included uh, in the package is a very simple world, 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 world. It's As you can see, it's not something that you could show to your friends. <coughs> You also get a GPS antenna. Uh, when you're ordering the unit, you are able to select which set of satellites uh, it will be uh, using. Uh, I went for GPS and uh, European set, I think. Uh, the options are for Baidu and uh, GLONASS, the Russian set. Okay, uh, what about the cable connection to the digital to analog converter? Uh, I went uh, with a cheaper cable, uh, one of the standard uh, RG400, uh, I think, cables. Uh, its chip uh, is not as thin as other cables, it has a very good uh, copper braiding. Uh, which is uh, actually shield uh, because this type of cable has to be uh, shielded very well. Uh, this is a cable used uh, in uh, uh, aeroplane aircraft industry. I don't know, I don't think I'm sure uh, about the right name uh, in English. Uh, anyway, uh, cables like that are used to transfer data and signals um, in uh, aircraft and they have to be uh, shielded against uh, any type of um, any type of EMI. So <clears throat> this was like uh, two dollars. Uh, the whole set for uh, OCXO was like sixty dollars. And uh, why, am I, why am I telling you about that? Uh, because this can be used as an external clock source for digital to analog converters and DDCs uh, if you're using that kind of equipment uh, when listening to your music. And uh, you can buy uh, external clocks made by Gastart, uh, LKS, 
uh, or other companies um, but they are usually uh, quite expensive I think the cheapest one uh, that I saw uh, was about $400 uh, shipping include, uh, included and uh, I was thinking uh, I want to try this kind of external clock with my um, DAC but I wasn't going to spend $400 uh, just to uh, have it, just to test it for the first time. So I went with this one thinking that it's so cheap that I'll be able to resell that because as I said this is basically used in radio and radio astronomy. So completely different uh, let's say target but the thing is that uh, 10 MHz clock generator is 10 MHz clock generator regardless of uh, if you're using it with your DDC, DAC, radio or whatever. It's just a clock generator. Uh, when I was using this uh, with my gas start, uh, I did not connect the antenna because the precision uh, was good enough. The antenna is for correcting the clock uh, if the internal uh, generator is uh, missing some bits. If, for example, it's giving you an uh, error, uh, it's going too fast or too slow. Uh, but you need to remember that in a scale of 10 megahertz. So these are minuscule, minuscule differences. They may be uh, important and they may they, they probably mean something in radio astronomy when you have to be as accurate as you can and uh, you can use GPS to correct your uh, signal. Uh, but for audio equipment it doesn't really matter. So I'll pause the video for a quick magic unscrewing of the screws and I'll show you what's inside of this baby. Okay, so in order to disassemble this uh, generator you have to remove the four screws on the front, the four screws on the back and you also need to remove this small ring that's here on the antenna connector. Let's have it done. Okay, and now you can yeah, get everything out. Okay, so the front and the back are just printed circuits, as you can see with the information about the unit. But basically it's nothing fancy, it's not plastic, it's not aluminium, it's just a board, PCB board. <coughs> Same goes for the front one. Uh, and what do we have uh, inside? Inside we have oven controlled uh, crystal oscillator and this one is uh, I think it's recycled used unit as you can see by the state uh, of this module. The module is uh, completely covered inside because what does it do? Uh, oven controlled means that it's uh, being heated up to uh, some stable temperature and in this stable temperature the clock internal quartz clock uh, is um, stable it's very stable because you're controlling the environment for the uh, ticking of this clock and that's basically it uh, i think i've read uh, on the uh, producer's page that by shorting yes by shorting uh, these jumpers uh, you can choose if your GPS antenna will be powered by 3.3 volts or 5 volts so I, I think it's jumped by some small resistor here R51 is for 5 volts antenna and R15 is for 3.3 volts so that's it it's not very complicated in here the build quality is okay as you can see, it was not soldered by hand, uh, so it's okay. It's okay for, especially for that kind of money that I've paid for it. So, <clears throat> how does this influence the sound? I can't tell for all the DAGs in the world because uh, I had only this gas that was able to use uh, external uh, clock 
my older Gaslight Unit uh, X20 Pro, which uses uh, double uh, Sabre 1928 setup, uh, doesn't have uh, external uh, clock inputs, I wasn't able to compare the effects. Anyway, for the uh, resistor ladder unit uh, that I had, that I have, and I had tested, uh, it had, uh, this generator had a tremendous positive uh, impact on the sound quality. Uh, it gave a completely new level of uh, detail with Viva Transparency, uh, air at the top, uh, bass control. So this is easily one of the best best upgrades you can have for your gas out um, digital to analog converter. And probably, probably uh, also other control, uh, oh, sorry, other DDCs or DACs. Uh, it's very cheap, as I said, $60. So grab one while they last, because I'm sure the prices will go up uh, once the demand will rise. And the other thing is that uh, there is no infinite amount and infinite source of used uh, clock uh, generators. So the people that are selling these uh, are selling these and they have uh, in stock uh, like 5 or 10 units, something like that. So buy one and thank me later. And you can thank me in comments actually. Also you can ask me any questions uh, you want to ask in comments. So that's all. Enjoy.